Hey guys, welcome to Flight Top King. Looking for a fantastic breakfast idea? What about a country fried steak on a ciabatta with an over easy egg, maybe a little country gravy? I think we just absolutely nailed it. You guys wanna see this concoction? Here we go. All right, to get started, let's talk about the list of ingredients. We did the breakfast enchiladas uh, a little while ago now, and I mentioned that I tried to get a sauce and I could not get it because it was out of stock. Lo and behold, I went back to my grocery store and there it is. So, got it, so I'm anxious to try that. All right, country fried steak breakfast sandwich. We got a country fried steak. We have our ciabatta buns. I just thought that chew might hold up to the weight of the country fried steak. We're going to grill some onions. We got our uh, flour and eggs and hot sauce for our batter. And I am going to make a very small amount of white gravy. No meat, nothing like that, like a cream gravy. Just because I feel like gravy and country fried steak go together. Okay, very simple. Put an egg on it and uh, call it a good breakfast. You guys ready? Yep. Let's go. I know you've been excited to try that sauce. Ever since you found their W sauce. Yeah, their W sauce is good. Oh, oh yeah. Here. Whew. Is it spicy? <coughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it's not not spicy. It's different. I think it's going to pair fantastically. Mmm. Ooh. It's got a little back end heat. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah. But that I mean, is good flavor. Yeah. Fresh, bright. That's speaking my language. All right, here we go. First things first. We have this uh, country fried steak out of a ranch in Colorado. They sent us some meat to try out. So we're trying it out. This is the same country fried steak we did on our Southwest country fried steak. So if you can imagine, I'm just trying to square it up with the size of our ciabatta bread. So make several pieces out of this. Or just three. Some thirds. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and season the meat now along with the flour. Just working with a little salt and pepper here. And then I'm gonna come back and just touch it up with some garlic. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna dredge it two different times. We're gonna do flour, egg, then flour. So I'm just gonna use the same flour dredge in here. So I'm just eyeballing it. That's probably enough for the first. And that's probably enough for the second. Just eyeballing it here, and then we're gonna season that liberally. I'm a fan of a little bit more black pepper, so we're gonna put that in there. We'll shake that. Clean bowl, two eggs. Some good dashes of hot sauce. And that is gonna be our binder for our dredge. All right, the dredging process is extremely easy. I'm gonna show you one of them. Basically just gonna, like anything else, coat it with flour, get it all coated. Shake off the excess. Eggs. and back into the flour. By the way, I see you're rocking your new hat today, honey. Which color is it? The, you know <laughs> Well, we got two of them. One of them was for me only. This one is, the, what is this? The, the, the gray and the gray orange. Right. Yep, so we got a new color scheme available. You guys can check that out at theflattopking.com along with their season and stuff like that. So new color, I always try to introduce a new color scheme for the people whenever we have to reorder, so. All right, let me get the rest of these knocked out and then we will start on our gravy. Alrighty, for the gravy, looking at about one tablespoon of butter, about the same amount of flour. I'm just gonna use that seasoned flour that we used. Anytime you're working with the skillet on top of your griddle, you just gotta be very careful because your handle can get hot. Let's cook off that flour just a little bit. Work in a little half and half. Kind of let that warm up just a second. Oh, 
All right, you want to start seasoning, a little salt. Remember, this will thicken up on you. And of course, I like a little thick pepper in there. And that looks about done to me. Taste, taste, taste. Peppery, just maybe a hair more salt. And that should be good. Set this to the side. Now we can start working on frying that steak. See how that's fun on that way? So we're gonna use that to our advantage for the second spot. And right over here, we'll take advantage of this spot. Let it heat up, heat up, heat up. That should be good right there. While our steak's cooking, perfect time for onions. You can slice them. I thought about dice them just because of the mouth size. I don't want a stringy onion. So kind of like a small, medium. Something like that right there. Just a little butter. Ooh, that smells onions. good already. Yeah. I just thought steak and cheese. You got your steak right here. You got your... Uh, onions right here, so kind of like works in the same theory. I mean, it's right. This sounds good to me. Just taking a little softened butter, putting that on ciabatta so we can get a good toast on it. All right, he's checking right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a good looking stuff. So let's move this over. Let's bring our oil back. Basically just creating a new landing zone. Plenty of leftover oil. And then right, oh. right there. That looks good to me right there. All right, we'll pull our steaks. Let those rest a little bit. Nice softened ciabatta. Got the onions working right here, still working. If your temp's dropping, you can hit it about 350. If your temp's rising, maybe about 300. So we're at 400. And this side's over here is 350. So that's gonna work perfect for us. So this side's off, low and low. Hit it with some butter. I love butter and eggs. Butter is also a telltale sign of how hot or cold your griddle is. Hit those eggs with a little shake that. Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter, just to mirror those things. All right, the whole griddle's off. And we've got plenty of residual heat. Our onions are finishing up. I'm just gonna warm up our cream gravy. And our eggs are just about ready to flip. I'm gonna build both exactly the same. So the idea is this. Put some of those buttered onions right on the bottom for a base. That crispy country fried steak like that. Hit it with that Baron Burton sauce. Top it with an egg. And there we go. Good Lord. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm gonna build the other one exactly the same way. Well, 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 well. When they say food doesn't make you happy, ha. <laughs> Then they haven't been to dinner at our house. I mean, is that everything you want? Whew, boy, that looks good. 
Mmm. You're thinking, why not a biscuit? The biscuit breaks, right? This has a little integrity to it. Be careful on your seasonings. I think as long as you season lightly the whole way, the seasoning builds up. So just be careful about that. And other than that, that is, here. Let's see. Put your mouth around that one. <laughs> Good Lord mercy. Now chomp down now. Don't be pulling the meat out. <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Boy, that is darn good. It's like the perfect balance. That's what you were going to say? That might be the breakfast sandwich of the year. <laughs> it is super good. I really like the addition. I knew it would. I just looked at the ingredients. Um, about the breakfast sauce went online and heard what it was about. Uh, like I said, we liked the original one, so we thought we'd give it a try. Um, I thought that the enchiladas, looking back, would benefit from something like this because that acidity. And I think this does because it cuts through the fat of the steak. So that is, mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy it. That's super good. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram where we share your stories, share your food, share all the things that you guys give us because you guys are making what we're cooking and we absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Breakfast sandwich of the year. I would probably agree with you. Mm. That is darn good. You use that leftover gravy to dip it in? Mm. Or sauce. Mm. Mm, that is sauce. super good. Put more sauce on it. <gasps>